So I want to talk about some op amps, um, in particular uh, two op amps, a, a TL072 and a TLC272. And at first glance you might think these are almost the same part. And there's some interesting discussion on single-ended op amps. So what does that mean? It means instead of plus and minus 12 volts you're operating them with uh, the negative rail tied to ground. So can you just use a normal op amp and tie the negative rail to ground? And the answer, of course, is yes. Uh, so that's what I have over here. So I have a uh, um, regular follower circuit. Um, a, a unity gain buffer. And we have uh, ground, to, ground to plus 12. And so that's, that's over here. So I have the TL072 which is a regular, regular op amp. And let me show you what I have on the uh, scope here. So I've set some lines. This line is ground and this line is plus 12. And you can see I have a function generator running a signal in here and everything looks just fine. So you say, well, yeah, of course, uh, I can run an op amp on um, zero to 12 volts and it works just great. Um, there is a catch though. And it may be a problem in your circuit, or it may not be a problem in your circuit. If this is what you need, then, then you're ready to go. But let me uh, change the offset of the, uh, of the signal. So I'm going to move this signal up and down a little bit. And if I move it up, it starts to clip. So you can't, you can't run it all the way to plus 12. I think everyone knows that. Um, and you can get pretty close to plus 12, but it is going, it is going to clip, right? So it clips in that direction. And if I move it down, it starts to clip. And take a look, you can get pretty close to plus 12, but you really can't get very close to, uh, to ground before, before it clips. Uh, and so how close can you get? Well, let's see, we're at two volts to, per division. So we're about maybe 1.8 volts, something like that. So you can't get very close to ground at all on that side. Um, and if you go up, you can get maybe within 0.7 volts of uh, 12. But in the negative direction, no go. Uh, it's, it's just not going to get there. In fact, it starts, to, uh, it starts to oscillate. You don't know how many times I've had this happen to me where you go look at a circuit and you're, like, you're operating a DC circuit with an op amp and suddenly, boom, you're up here at 11 volts and you go, well, how did that happen? I'm, I've got a really low voltage. I've got a 0.1 volt signal. How come it's giving me 12 volts in the output? Well, that's because these op amps just won't operate there. They won't operate below, you know, like 1.8 volts. So yes, you can operate them single-ended. Yes, you can tie the negative rail to ground, but that's the limitation that you have on a, a TL072. So we're going to go back and uh, we're going to put in a TLC 272 and we'll see how that one operates. So I'm just going to live plug this thing. So out goes that one. Make sure I've got the right part here. This is a 272 and pop that in the circuit and we'll go back and you'll say, oh, see, same thing. Okay. Same thing, yep, they operate exactly the same. And now, now let me change the offset. I'm gonna go up, and this one's gonna to start to clip, and it doesn't get quite as close to plus 12. Um, maybe two diode drops instead of one diode drop, uh, but it does the same thing kind of in the up direction. But look at the down direction. Look at the down direction. Look at how far it goes down. In fact, Look at that. You can actually sneak it underneath just a little tiny bit, <laughs> but it goes all the way to ground. So that's the benefit of having uh, a data sheet that's a single in and op amp. Take a look at the data sheet. Make sure your, operate, your, your, your uh, op amp can operate to the, to the negative rail. And the TLC272 is, is made exactly for this. Uh, it's made to be operated single-ended. It's made to have ground as its uh, negative rail. And it's designed to be able to have the signal go all the way there. Uh, so it's a much, much different part. And 
a lot of times when you have mixed signals, you have digital signals and analog signals and stuff, uh, that offset of normal op amps will get you in trouble. You really need that ground. Or if you're driving, let's say, a, um, an N-channel FET, you want to make sure it's definitely off. You want to make sure it's at zero. And uh, this one will definitely get you there. The other one, mm, it gets you down to 1.8 volts. Is that enough to turn off of a FET? Uh, sometimes not. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so be, be aware of this. Uh, you need to take a look at what is the operating range of your uh, op amp and whether you can use it single-ended or not in your application.